Hi, I'm Barry. We've now finished the ceiling. That's drying off quite nicely. Uh, you can see all the paste sort of like sinking into the ceiling. So now we're going to wallpaper this chimney breast and these side walls. Okay, so we've got a few different options here available to us. We're going to try and make this as easy as we can. We're going to put this, this piece here all in one strip. Okay, we're not going to split it. Okay, so on the other wall that we did over on the back there, the feature wall, we came down to the wall 53 centimetres, okay, and then we put our mark in, which is roughly there. Okay, now, and that just gave us if there was any sort of like dips in the ceiling, that we didn't have anything short. Okay, and if you refer back to that video, you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, when I put this next one on, okay, it's going to give us a really, really small gap there, okay, that's going to be quite tricky to wallpaper. Okay, so I'm going to measure from the bottom upwards, okay, and that should just lift this up a little bit. So I'm just going to give myself a little, just a few uh, centimetres overlap there. Okay. Now that distance there now, okay, that gives us, stops it being less tricky, gives us a bit more for us to play with. Okay. So that's going to be piece number one, two, three, and four. So I need three full strips to go across this chimney breast. So let's just measure them. And you can measure these in uh, inches or centimetres in toilet view. If again, if I've got a small gap to measure, then I'll measure it in sort of mil or centimetres. But if I've got just a big piece like this, um, it doesn't particularly matter. And then we're just going to add, so that uh, says there 91, okay, makes it dead simple instead of using it in millimetres or centimetres. So we can add four on the top, so we'll make our piece of paper uh, 95 uh, inches long. Okay, and again, just measure that, just write that on the wall, okay, just so you can remember it and then the phone rings or somebody starts talking to you, you can just refer that uh, straight away. So if you, again, if you remember from our previous video, this is how I always set out the wallpaper. Okay, so I've got my tape measure and this just makes it very, very simple. Okay, so I've measured across there and I've measured to 60, 60 inches. So we've got to go 95. Put it on the edge of the tape table. Roll it back, put your scissors there, or your tape measure. Okay, don't crease it, okay, you can just do that. And stop it flicking back. Okay, so we go 60. And then I just need to put 35 on the on the top. Scissors there stops it rolling. Like that. Okay. okay, don't hack at this, okay? Try and get yourself a nice neat line. And again. So that's our three pieces cut, ready. Okay, we'll just leave them for a few minutes. So again, we now need to put our straight line in. Okay, so we'll make sure that our wallpaper's nice and straight. So I've got my spirit level. Make sure the bubble's in the middle. Don't forget to refer back to my other uh, video so you can check that your spirit level is level. Okay, there's a few little exercises there and I'll put a link to that at the bottom of the videos. So 
So if you notice, um, I haven't gonna do a straight line across there. Okay. And there's a couple of different methods we can use to take it around this external corner. If it's relatively new, which this one is, and it doesn't look too, too out of shape, then we can just take it straight the way around as long as we don't have a bulge here. Okay, so that's the first one I'm gonna do. The next one, I'm just gonna take it around the corner by a few millimeters or um, about 10, 15 uh, millimeters. And I'm gonna splice this one in. Okay, so if it is throwing the paper out, which sometimes happens on these external corners, okay, this is the other method you can use. Okay. There is another system as well uh, where you can put your wallpaper on and then you get your, your Stanley blade okay, and you trim it on this edge okay, and then you get your wallpaper from this side, put it on and you trim it from that edge okay, and then once it's dry you can just get a little bit of sandpaper or abrasive just to take that edge off okay, so it's all very smooth. Okay, but that's generally in sort of extreme conditions where that this there's quite a corner on this okay but this is very very sharp again with it being brand new okay right so that's the line in uh, the wall's been sized i'm just going to take this measurement up here okay because i don't want to put a full piece in there i'm just going to trim it off a little bit because i don't want all this wallpaper up here onto the ceiling okay getting all the paste so i've got a sort of measurement there if i sort of do it roughly around the, around the 46 centimetre mark. Again, make a mark on my, my tape measure just for memory. Okay, so I've just got a little overlap there. Okay, so once it's pasted, I'll then cut it. Right, let's get some pasting done. 